In an earlier video that I did on setting the centre shot on your bow, we looked at the plunger and how we can adjust this collar to change where it sits and how the arrow sits on the, on the rest, um, which affects how the arrow leaves the bow. Another thing that the plunger does is it has this, this pressure tip. And what we can do is we can adjust this using these sort of uh, parts up here to change how that arrow leaves the bow and how it flies, which allows us to tune the bow to the arrow as opposed to with traditional bows where you have the wooden riser and the arrow but because it's just a simple rest there's no way of tuning it it simply relies on that pressure of the arrow against the riser so the only way to tune a traditional bow is to tune the arrow to the bow either by changing the point weight, changing the arrow length or changing the arrow spine um, which can be quite a difficult and time consuming process what a modern bow allows us to do is to tune the bow to the arrow. So you choose your arrow that fits the spine, suitable for the poundage you're drawing, and then you can fine tune it using, using this pressure button. So in order to set the button pressure, what we're going to do is a bare shaft tuning. And that quite simply involves firing three fletched arrows followed by one unfletched arrow. And what we're looking to do is see where the fletched arrows land compared to where the unfletched arrows land. We're going to be doing this at 18 meters, which is a good distance for working out, and it's what I tend to use. So as I said, what we're looking at is the difference between where those fletched arrows and those unfletched arrows land. With the pressure button, we're looking at the difference in terms of left and right. Up and down is controlled by your knocking point. So the other thing you want to make sure before you start trying to tune in your button pressure is that you have the right spine arrows for your bow. Arrows come in different spine groups. Uh, there are charts available for different arrow makes to tell you what spine is suitable for the poundage range that you're shooting. That gets you in the ballpark figure of having the right arrow for the right bow, which we can then use the pressure button to fine tune and really dial it in. So if after shooting your first three fletched arrows, you then shoot your unfletched arrow, it lands over to the right of your fletched group. That's telling us that the arrows are still a little bit too weak or the button pressure is a little bit too low. What we can do is simply increase the pressure on the button, which on most buttons involves just undoing the top locking nut and giving it a quarter to a half a turn tightness on the button. Um, you want to be making small adjustments, you know, an eighth, a quarter, half a turn maybe, most, at a time, and you should find you're walking that arrow, that bear shaft, back onto where your other arrows are grouping. I hope you find that the bear shaft is landing to the left of the fledged arrows, that's just telling you that either the arrows are too stiff or the button pressure is too strong. And it's simply the opposite process, under that top locking nut, quarter of a turn, half a turn, anti-clockwise, loosen off that pressure in the string and you should find the arrow starts moving to the right and joins up with those fletched arrows. Ideally what we're looking for is having those fletched arrows and the bear shaft landing in amongst each other or with the bear shaft just very slightly to the left. Another thing you might find if you're just in these and you get all the way cranked around to one side and you can't get that sort of either as loose or as tight as you want. Most pressure buttons come with different springs that you can uh, you can basically take the cap off, uh, in the case of the Shibuya that I've got it's just an extra bolt that you take off, unscrew the top and you can replace those string, uh, springs and they normally come with a tougher and a looser spring. Just make sure you can really dial it into how you need it. So we've got that button pressure set right and we've got them grouping nicely, that's it good to go. One thing you might want to consider if you're shooting with different arrows, say an indoor set and an outdoor set, having two pressure buttons that are set up for each arrow type can save you a lot of time because you can just unscrew one, screw the other one in and you're good to go with those other arrows. Um, so yeah, I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next video.